Uh, so the first thing that I tell every learning and development practitioner that we work with um, is that the most important aspect of all L&D activity is that it supports the overall overarching organizational strategy. Um, any part of learning or development that seems like a great idea but does not align with the direction of the organization is really a waste of your time, energy, and resources. Um, and I kind of like to compare it to these standalone pillars in this picture. They're a very nice idea, but they undermine the rest of your strategy by creating gaps or doubts in your overall design. Um, so we really encourage organizations to design your developmental activities around the needs of the business, which are constantly going to evolve and to change. Um, and we do that by first identifying the types of characteristics that we need to see in leaders to get that done and to accomplish those organizational objectives. So you might be wondering, how do we do that? Um, so we spend a lot of time at Hogan linking strategy to personality. Uh, we at Hogan are really in the business of understanding people. Uh, we would consider people to be the most consequential and even potentially dangerous forces in our environment. Um, so knowing something about the people in your organization is going to help anyone survive and prosper and grow or potentially fail. Um, and personality psychology really concerns what we, what we call the nature of human nature. Um, and there is a lot to study in human nature. But here at Hogan, everything that we study and everything that we measure relates back to tangible business outcomes. We're really not interested in measuring anything else. And we can really show through thousands of performance studies that tangible business outcomes are linked directly back to the personality of the leaders making the decisions. So we link strategies and outcomes to desired personality characteristics for organizations all the time. Uh, so for instance here, we know that if you need to prepare yourself for a big change event, maybe a merger or an acquisition, um, or maybe your organization is starting to stagnate in your industry and you need to prepare for a big year or two of innovation. Uh, we know that you need to be developing around certain characteristics that we measure in our assessments. Um, so we're going to be looking for people who are low on our tradition value, uh, low on our prudent scale, and high on our ambition scale. Those are going to be the types of leaders who can really help drive change in an organization. <laughs>